Hey, I'm here with my good friend Jeff Sipes with Blue Water Credit. And credit is such a hot topic right now, Jeff. What is one of the top things that people really need to know when getting ready to make a purchase? What do they need to know about their credit? So one thing most people don't know is that 30% of your credit score has to do with your credit card balance. And that's relation to the credit limit. Mm -hmm. So you wanna to try to have no more than 10% charge on your credit card about 30 to 45 days before you apply for your loan. So everybody thinks it's all about, I had a late on my credit. It's really not just about that, is it? Right, one of the biggest myths that we see is, oh, I pay my bills on time, my credit score is gonna be high. Mm -hmm. But only 35% of your score is your payment history. 30% uh, of your score, like I said, is credit card balances. So paying down those balances will definitely maximize your credit score. So like, what are three of the biggest things? You just said one. What are the things that they can do to get their scores up? Sure, one of the other myths is people think if they pay off their collections, it's gonna disappear. Paying off a collection could actually lower your score. Mm. So don't just go paying off your collections. Talk to an expert like Kevin or myself. Um, the second one is every time your credit's pulled, it hurts your score. So if you pull your own credit through a website, there's no impact. And then if multiple lenders pull credit, it only affects the score one time. Right, as long as you're within the shopping period. And there's some yep. different arguments on that, right? Yep. Some people say it's 10 days, some people say it's 30 days, some, some say there's even a consolidation period. Probably the safest is if, is if you're shopping, stay within 10 days. Well, if you, FICO actually states for mortgage or auto, there's 30 days to rate shop. So okay. as long as it's a mortgage inquiry or an auto inquiry, they have 30 days to rate shop and it affects their score one time. And the impact is one to five points. Great. Most real estate agents have an affiliation with an agency, but they're still small businesses and their reputation is pretty much the most important asset that they possibly possess. Personal branding is the practice of people marketing themselves and their career as brands. It can be tough, but it's all about you and how you package yourself. It's as much about what you put in as what you leave out. In order for your personal branding to work, you have to know one, what demographic you're targeting. Number two, what do you want to be known for? Number three, what's unique about you? What are people gonna like about you? You have to know how to control what's associated with your reputation online. Unfortunately, even if you don't like the idea, your online trail is by default creating a personal brand. The things you say, post, create, and participate in are all being gathered out there on that crazy thing called the internet into an easily found collection complements of search engines. Your personal brand is your online identity and it's becoming a bigger and bigger part of your entire identity, including offline every single day. Everything you do online must fit the brand you wanna create. So what does your personal brand look like today? What do you want it to look like? It's that time of year when we start thinking about putting our plans together for next year. So do a really good evaluation of yourself, make necessary changes, calculate your ROI and continue with what worked and then add it for next year. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. If you need any help running through this, we'd be happy to share our input and help you put it together. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week and see you next week.